Hello my loves, today I have a uh, surprise unboxing. Uh, this was sent to me from my friend Jess uh, over at Gem and Jess Diamond Crafts or something like that. It's definitely Gem and Jess. I should have looked up the name. I'm fairly certain that it's Gem and Jess and Diamond Crafts. Regardless, I will leave her channel and her Instagram linked in the description. This is a gift. I was sent um, a couple things and so far I've got this one. I'm thinking I'm going to save them all and do one dedicated thank you so much Gem and Jess video. So this is the first part. This is a pen and I have looked at the label. It comes from a uh, patriotic team. I believe that is Redneck Beauty or Patriotic Beauty here on the YouTubes. Oh, I got a candy. So she pre-warned me that there was going to be a note that I had to read on the gift. So it says, to Abigail from your forced friend Jessica, <laughs> which is exactly what happened. So let me tell you the story real quick. So um, I uh, messaged her on Instagram and I was like, we're friends now. There's really nothing you can do about it. So, <laughs> I, I love that note, I'm saving it. I'll use it as a bookmark. Thank you, Jess. Okay, so, ooh, oh my goodness. Wow. That is incredible. Oh my gosh, it looks like it looks like a million Christmas presents. Oh my God, I love it. It looks like a, a bunch of wrapped gifts. Oh my God, I'm obsessed. Oh my gosh, and I, I, love, I love the thickness of it. It's not too thick, it's not too thin, it's just right. It is, oh my God, I have to text her right away. Thank you, Jess. Oh my God. It's stunning. It's just like, I mean, I feel like what this is, is like the perfect way to discard scraps from other pens. Because if I'm not mistaken, this is pieces of other pen blanks tossed into a mold and then filled with um, resin. I could be wrong. I could be totally wrong, but that's just how I interpret this. It's stunning. Oh my god! And everywhere you look is a new color. Oh my god! I'm in, I'm I'm just. I am like so obsessed with this. It's like every time I look at it, I notice a new one that I like. Like this one right here. Let me see. Is the lighting even good? Can you even see what I'm seeing? Oh, sorry. My boobs are on the table. <laughs> Let me zoom you in so you don't see that anymore. Oh, let me tell you a story. So one time, well, while we're on the topic of boobs on the table, um, we went to uh, my fiance's coworker's house for dinner one day and their dog is super angry and super grumpy. And so anytime you look at it, if you make direct eye contact with him, he will attack you. So <laughs> my uh, fiance's coworker goes, all right, he's coming out, tits on the table, don't make eye contact. So now every time I think of that, I'm like, it's on the table. <laughs> Anyways, um, I'm obsessed. I am. I'm. I'm completely like, wow. This is this is incredible. And I don't know. I know that Patriotic Beauty has um, a Facebook, and I don't know if she has an Etsy shop or a regular shop. Um, I will find all information out from Jess, and I will leave it in the description box along with a link to Jess. Um, but. I don't know, like I know that on Facebook you have to win auctions, so I don't know if she picked this out or won it, I'm not really sure. So I will definitely leave all relevant information in the description box, but I am definitely going to be using this for a while. This is stunning. I like to interchange a little bit. I like to take and I, right now I have this one I've been working with. This is from um, Enablers Outpost. I've been working with this one. So I might switch to this one for a little while. Oh my god. It is absolutely incredible. I can't even stop. I can't stop looking at it. I just keep turning it. And I see a new piece every time. Like this one looks like a sun sunrise. Can you even see? Why are you letting me show you things if you can't see? Okay, I'm trying to change 
the lighting so you can see it better, see it in truer lighting. That it's a bl that's blue light, but it, it looks a little truer to the colors on there. So I'm just gonna keep turning it so you can see it. All right, that is it for this part. I will include anything and everything else that Jess has sent me in the rest of this video. Thank you so much, Jess. I am I'm freaking obsessed. This is stunning. I love it. Thank you. Hello, this is part two of what did Gem and Jess get me, or whatever I've decided to call it. So obviously you have seen part one because it came before this one, but I know that this goes along with it. So I am gonna go ahead and use my friend mail from Melly, my Melly machete, to open this mail. And it's funny because it says happy mail from Gem and Jess. So I have gone ahead and cut it open. Ideally, I will have done a good job cutting it open. Nope, I need my Melly Machete again to just kind of slice it slightly. So this is a nice presentation, but first I wanna make sure that addresses aren't in here. So, okay, so this is from Wilson 3D Designs. It says, thank you. Um, Abigail, this 3D printed diamond painting stand is from your friend Gem and Jess. I sent it straight from me to you from her. I hope you love it as much as I love mine. Oh, oh, love that. Okay, so she got a, she got uh, Pam, who is the owner of the Etsy shop 3D, Wilson 3, Wilson 3D Designs, to write a happy note on this card here and on my box. So that is really cool, thank you. So I'm gonna go ahead and bust into this and I have some candies. And let's see what color Jess picked. She told me about it. Oh my God, it's stunning. I can't, look at this. It's like yellows and golds and greens and pinks. Oh my God, it's like, it's stunning. It is a five pen holder. Is that right? Let's check. Two. Let's see. Oh, I have a text message. Let me silence my phone. <laughs> Three. Four. Oh my gosh, look at that. That is super cool. And then, let's see. So, oh, I didn't do it right. Look at this. There we go. There, now I've done it right. I was like, why are some higher than the other? Look at that. They come out at the bottom to make sure they're all like securely in there and it holds my thick one too. It holds the, the thinner part here, which you can't see. It holds, oops, maybe it doesn't. There we go, <laughs> it holds it. Uh, the thin one here, the regular size ones here, and the thick one here. So that is super awesome. I love it, thank you so much, Pam and Jess. Thank you, Jess, for purchasing it, and thank you, Pam, for the wonderful notes. Oh my goodness, I love this. Oh my God, do I need another one for more pens? Do I, I wanna buy more pens just to display them on these things. Look at this. This is so cool, and this is 3D printed, and oh my gosh. Like, can you just see the colors that are in there? It's like, I mean, how does that even happen? That's, that's crazy. Look at that, that is so cool. Well, you know what? I am gonna go ahead and put my pens in there, and leave them in there. I will set this off to the side and this will be a little place for me to pick what I want for diamond painting instead of, I always just take all of my pens with me everywhere I go, but now I should bring this diamond painting <laughs> pen stand. Oh my God, I love it. Thank you so much. And I also got some candies. Let's see, this one is toasted marshmallow. I'll give that one to Austin. And that's hot chocolate. I'll give that one to Austin and I will eat these too. Thank you so much. 
and I think Jess sent me I think one more thing so that will be after this okay I believe this is the third item that I have been sent by Jet sent to sent from Jess oh my goodness that was a lot um, I cut out a little piece of an address here so that's what that is I am definitely gonna open it the regular way though just in case um, I'm gonna take my machete so I know that um, the first two items came a little bit ago so I'm not sure what I've said so far but obviously this is from the same person Gem and Jess um, I believe I know what this is based on the address that it was sent from also don't take knife safety classes for me okay I've been around knives my whole life I am not afraid of them <laughs> so don't, uh, don't, don't do what I do, all right? So let's see what uh, the package looks like. I'm gonna make sure I cover any address. Okay, so this is what the packaging looks like. Okay. So this is from Weedbrook. It's an Etsy shop. This is the Etsy shop information right there. I will leave it linked in the description. I don't see any places where my address is going to be on it other than the packaging, so that's that's good. Okay, so I believe she told me that these are pen tips. I think that's what this is. A pen tip, maybe? Yes, okay, so it is, it's a pen tip. Okay, so Diamond Art Pen Tip. And I think this is her favorite pen tip, too, so I am excited. Oh, she sent me two. Okay, so... I have already pre-taken out the uh, single placer just in case that's what this was. So I'm gonna go ahead and try and fit it in. Okay, this may not be the right size. I may have to grab another pen really quickly. Let's try. This one comes from Enablers Outpost. This one has a little bit wider of a spout. Okay, this is a perfect fit for this one. Awesome. Okay, so let us test it out now. Let's see if I can get it in here. She sent two, that's super awesome. So I am always regularly using more than one pen at a time. Let's see if it'll fit in my pen from Jim's hand turn pens. Let's see, I'm trying to wiggle the tip out. Wiggle, wiggle. See if it'll fit in there. It's a little bit of a tight squeeze, but it fits better than in this one, which I find interesting. I didn't, uh, didn't anticipate that. This must be a little bit of a tighter fit to get in, so I'm gonna just pop a regular single placer back in there so that I don't lose that one. That should be good for now. Let's put some wax on it and let's test it out. So let's see, let me clean this area up really quickly. I don't know if I have, oh, I don't have my diamond painting stuff out yet, but I can grab it out. All right, so I'm, I'm just going to put some regular pink wax in it. I'm super excited to try these. I've never tried anything other than what comes in the um, diamond painting stuff. I never have tried anything else. How does this go? Let me put this back the way it came, and I think this goes right back in here. That is pretty neat. That's awesome packaging. That is really, really awesome packaging. Okay, so I am going to grab... Am I gonna grab Nightbringer? Do I have anything else out that might be easier to grab? I don't think so. I guess I'm gonna grab Nightbringer. I'll be right back. Okay, um, I don't know how practical the setup is. I think you can see, yeah, you can see, okay. So I'm just gonna put a couple in here. I'm not gonna do a whole bunch with it because this is perfect for multi-placing, um, this canvas is. So actually, you know what I'm gonna do? Let me multi-place, or let me single place around the deer. That's probably a better idea. There, that's what I'll do. Multi, or single place in this section. So, 
I am super excited to try this. Um, after I saw her video on it, I was looking at getting some and then she sent me some so I'm super excited I'm just gonna make sure that the wax is really good in there and I'm gonna begin okay so it looks like these are just a better version of the ones that come in your diamond painting pen because they are stainless steel so they're gonna last longer provided you take care of them of course I don't think you're supposed to use um, metal to get them out so those sharp tweezers that I've been using I'm gonna have to not use them for this I'm gonna have to get a toothpick or something so that is pretty cool and I like that it's not just the tip I like that they have a actual like hard tip to put it in instead of just putting it back in plastic so that is pretty awesome definitely enjoying that Oh, and this, this tray comes from Bella Art Dana Cole, in case you were wondering. So, that is awesome. I am super enjoying that. I feel a lot more confident that I'm not going to um, harm my drills and also my tip because my tips get worn out like really worn out when I am diamond painting like they get bent and like misshapen so I'm super excited um, that I have received these from my friend Jess so she says I am expecting a total of two more things um, both of them were supposed to have arrived yesterday but I know that the post office is super backed up so I am definitely okay waiting plus it gives me time to enjoy all the gifts instead of unboxing them all at once I can take my time with each one so far I am really impressed with this tip I mean I realize it's like oh it's a stainless steel tip but like no it's this is really really awesome I'm not nervous about damaging anything like I said I'm super impressed oh I'll fill in right here too so that is cool I love it thank you Jess and she sent two so I have two so I will I wish it would have fit in my other um, pen the one that she sent me so I could have the tips and the pen together but that is okay I can use it and my other ones like this one I haven't used this pen a lot and um, I, it's not that it's not comfortable it's just that I mm, I don't know I've been digging my snowflake and my um, I call that one a present one where'd it go where'd it go where'd it go where did she go let me see if I can find it this one right here. I've been calling this one my present pen because it looks like a bunch of presents. So I've been enjoying my present pen and my snowflake pen. Um, however, uh, the season for present pen or the season for snowflake pen is probably almost out. So I'll have to get a new pen in rotation and this one will be perfect since it fits my pen tip perfectly. So I'm having fun. If, if I'm left uh, to my own devices, I will probably keep single placing. So I'm going to stop <laughs> so that I don't make it more difficult to multi-place the deer later, or the black and the deer later. So I am going to cut this clip here, and I will see you. For you, it'll be a couple seconds. For me, it'll probably be a couple days. See you soon. Hello, this is clip number four um, of What Did Gem and Just Get Me? I think that is the title of this video. I'm not sure. I just woke up, so pardon my voice. I woke up from an overnight, um, and I saw that something from Amazon was in the mailbox, and I was like, oh my god, no. My planner. Why is it folded in my mailbox? Because I live in an apartment building, so my mailbox is like this wide, maybe. 
So um, I ran out to go get it, and this was in there too. So um, this funny story should have been the first thing that arrived at my house um, from Jess. Uh, the owner of the shop, I'm not sure if it's an Etsy shop or a Facebook group or what, but um, the owner of the business uh, sent me her version of the pen. So um, I'm pretty sure this is a pen. I'm like 98% sure based on both the feeling and what Jess has said. Um, so the person who turned the pens accidentally sent me Jess's and so um, on my way out of town and I wanted to film this clip, I wanted to take this, I wanted to touch it, so here we go. So what is in here? So uh, first of all, a lollipop. I'll eat that. Okay. So let's see. Abigail, I hope you love this pen. Lisa? I believe that's, I, use, I think that's the pronunciation. I mean, I think that's the name. Oh my God, I'm so slow today. Yeah, it's from Lisa. Okay, so, um, oh my gosh. I love this. Look at that. That is stunning. Oh my God, I'm obsessed. Oh, this is gorgeous. Oh my God, Jess, you spoil me. You better stop. <laughs> this is amazing. I am, I can't stop looking at it. Oh my God. This is beautiful and it's it's good. Um, it feels good. It definitely. Um, I like the design of it. I've never had one that looks like that before. And it, is, it feels good in my hand. This is beautiful. Thank you to Lisa and Jess. Um, I will find out where Jess obtained this pen from, and I will leave that information in the description box. So um, yeah, one more clip to go. Hello my loves, this is, I'm not sure what clip of the Gem and Jess, what did Gem and Jess get me video. Um, I have no idea what this is. Um, it's got my address on the other side so I definitely don't want to show you that. As well as the Etsy shop's address. So let's not do that. Um, let me just cut into it. Make sure I can get it open. struggling to do so so I'm not sure what this is but it comes from I believe happy hippo finds okay so this says a gift for you let's see let me open this okay so it's got a little diamond on it so it says, happy early birthday present, love your forced friend. So if you don't know the story about that, I'm sure I've already said it in <laughs> the um, the past, one of the past clips. <laughs> um, so yes, this is from Jess. Let's see what it is. I don't know if I know anything about Happy Hippo Find, so super excited to take a look and see. Oh, oh my gosh, I love this. Oh my goodness. This this is an incense burner, I think. I don't actually I don't actually know, but it's beautiful. It's absolutely stunning. And I love this thing here. That is super cute. It's got a little stamped hippo on it. I want to go ahead and pull up their Etsy shop really quickly so that I can make sure I know what this is. I think I know what it is, <laughs> but I am a disaster on two feet. So, happy hippo. Oh, I guess I gotta type it out. Oh, no I don't. Okay. So, I'm gonna see if I can find something similar so that I can tell you what it is. I'm pretty sure it's an incense burner. Oh no, it's a pen holder. I'm just dumb. 
No, it's not. I don't know what it is. Oh my god. I'm gonna have to reach out to Jess and find out. I found something similar, but it says it's a pen holder. Let me go to the next page. It might be an incense holder. Oh, I see. Okay, okay, okay. Um, it is a draft table drill saver cover minder. So, is that right? Yes, okay, so you pick the option um, of colors and stuff, and then you have your tray like this so it doesn't fall off. Is that right? Somebody correct me if I'm wrong. I don't know how this works. It looks like an incense holder. Oh, nope, I'm wrong. Well, I don't know. I can't tell what it is. Hold on. I don't know. Oh my God, I look so stupid. I'm so sorry, Jess. Oh my God. Resin wine cooler. It's definitely resin. I figured that one out. Oh my god, I am really dumb. I think that's what it was. I think, it, okay, I think that's, I think it's a drafting table um, cover, my dear thing. So I'm really excited. This is super neat. I'm also going to use it to hold my pens. Look at that. Maybe I'm not. Well, maybe I might be able to with the magnets. Anyways, thank you so much for watching this clip. I am sorry that I couldn't adequately describe this. Um, it's really pretty though. Look at that. Oh, it's focusing on my phone. Get out of here. Get out of here. There you go. It's stunning. It's absolutely gorgeous. So I cannot wait to put this to use um, for whatever purpose it's supposed to be used for. I'm pretty sure it's a drafting table um, tray saving cover minder. So it would be like if you have a drafting table and you just put this like on your drafting table, like for example, if this is your drafting table, you would put it like this, and then it would prevent your tray from falling onto the floor. Um, at least that's what I think it is. It might be a, I don't know. I am a mess, I'm so sorry. I'll reach out to her and I'll figure out exactly for sure what it is. I'm pretty sure it's a, that's what I said it was. All right, I'm going to be done rambling about this. Um, I love it. Thank you so much, Jess. It is absolutely gorgeous. It is stunning. All right, guys, I hope that you um, enjoyed this clip. All right, I'll see you in the next one. Okay, I don't know what part this is. Let's check one, two, three, four, five, fifth part maybe. Um, I'm not sure. Uh, but this, I found out where the other pen came from. So I knew one of them came from uh, Redneck Beauty and I didn't know where the other one came from. So it turns out it came from, this, came from, comes from the same place as this one. This one is from uh, 808, 802, Lisa, Lisa, uh, I'm not sure. Ooh, I can't wait to eat that, yes. Um, not really sure, uh, I'll leave it linked in the description. I thought I knew, but apparently I don't. So, let me see. There we go. I cut it badly, but there we go. It says, I hope you love your new pen, Lisa. Happy birthday. Awesome. Thank you, Lisa. And thank you, Jess. So, I was sent a picture of this, so I kind of already know what it looks like. <gasps> oh, look at that. Oh. Hold on. Is it focused? I can't even tell. There we go. Nope, that's this way. Okay, this way. There we go. Look at that. It's a honeycomb one. And it's got small little flecks of iridescent glitter in there. Oops, wrong way. There we go. Wow, look at that. I keep going the wrong way because my... Th um, What's it called? The uh, 
the thing over here, whatever that is. Um, what's it called? Oh my gosh, look at that. That is beautiful. You see the glitter throughout. So this is a honeycomb. Um, it is, oh my gosh, it looks like mountain ridges in there. Look at that, that is so cool. That is stunning. So these are both from 802 uh, Lisa, Lisa's pens. I'm not really sure exactly. I'll leave, it, oops, I'll leave it in the description box so that you can check them out. This one is, I just can't stop staring at it because like if you, you can see the glitter inside of it, but like the swirlies down here, insane. I love this. Thank you so much, Jess. Thank you so much, Lisa. I am obsessed with this. Look at that. That is so cool. Okay, we'll move into the next part because it's already arrived, so I'm eager to get into it, but in order to do that, I have to put the camera tripod on the floor, so I will do that right now. Okay, so we are getting into the last part. Um, I'm not sure where this is from. I have an idea. I know it's a painting, um, but I, I don't off the top of my head know exactly where this is from. This is uh, the last of the Jess gifts. Um, forever, Jess. <laughs> forever. You are done purchasing me things. So, let me bust into this. If it's a company I'm thinking of, I've never ordered from them before, so I am eager to get into it. Okay, I found it. This is where you open it. Okay, so let's see. Oh, I've got a phone call. Hold Okay, so now I feel the need to rush because, oh, what? What? I feel the need to rush because um, my fiance's on his way home with food. What? No way, Jess. Oh my god. Oh my god! Oh my god. <laughs> I am so excited. I've been wanting to try this company for a while and she picked the most pretty image. So this is from the Diamond Painting Factory UK. Oh, you're, are you zoomed in? I can't even, let me see. Oh. Can you change the lighting on this one so that they can see it better please? Change it so it's white light instead of orange. Thank you. Okay, so this is from the Diamond Painting Factory UK. So this is by, uh, I, you know, I thought it was .co.uk, okay. So I thought this was by a guy, but I totally could be wrong because it says Patricia Kaiser at the top. But then on, maybe they put your name on it. Is that possible? Let me see. So I thought this was by a guy. Let me, let me double check. Diamond Painting Factory UK. This... This is what I'm going to do for drills and chills. It's been decided. It's been decided. So it looks like she grabbed round, which is perfect because I ain't trying to do square. Unless they, maybe they don't even have it in square. I don't know. But I ain't trying to do any more squares right now. I have my entire life planned out. And I do not have time for squares. <laughs> okay. Barrett Biggers. I thought it was by Barrett Biggers, but I could be wrong. So... Let me pull it up. Yeah, it's by Barrett Bigger. So it's possible that this person, like a person may have ordered this and had the, 
wrong or they they sent it to will they cancel their order maybe I'm not sure anyways this is what the image is supposed to look like so that's what it's gonna look like when it's done um, and this is what it looks like right now so I'm really excited to see how this ends up turning out because there's like a lot of detail in between the two cats right here so I'm excited to see how that turns out that looks like a bunch of confetti I'm already stressed <laughs> <laughs> but I'm really excited. Okay, so it came with two toolkits. That's interesting. So in this toolkit we have, I think it came with two toolkits. Somebody rewind that back, make sure I'm not lying. I have so many toolkits floating around, it's possible that um, I told a lie. But anyway, this one comes with the green boat, the pink wax, and the pink pen. This one comes with the green boat, the pink pen, the pink wax, a square, a rectangle of it this time. This time the pen comes with a multi-placer, this one comes with a squishy, and a pair of slanted uh, tweezers. So, those are the toolkits that I believe came with this. Yeah, that's so weird, that says Patricia Kaiser. So, I'm assuming that's supposed to say my name, because on the, on the thing, hold on, I threw it on the floor somewhere. See, it says my name here. So I'm assuming that that's where my name is supposed to go because I think if I'm not mistaken, somebody else had got one and it had their name on it. So let's go ahead and take a look at the colors. Okay, so um, my son is helping me unbox it and by helping me unbox it, I mean, be out here even though he was told he couldn't be. <laughs> so he has told me that yes, it does uh, come with two. So I'm gonna go ahead and I need the thing. So, so I need this. So I'm gonna put this here. Oh, no wait, no I don't. No I don't, it's fine. They have the things on it. Okay, so why is that sticky there? I'm not sure. Is it? Does the okay? I think this is poured glue, but I'm seeing some. It might be adhesive from the packaging. This is going to be not a problem because I, I'm pretty sure this is poured glue. So all I'd have to do to fix that is to peel the plastic covering back, stretch it back out, and go like that and it should fix itself and I'll also leave it under the bed for a time before I pop that one open okay so one thing is it did not come with an inventory sheet but technically the inventory is on um, the painting so that should be fine Uh oh, this bag is slightly open. I'm not really sure. So let me go ahead and separate. So apparently there's gonna be uh, a lot of 3866. Why is it? doing it like that. There we go. 3866. This is like an off-white, almost gray cream color. And that is, I'm assuming, the majority of the background. And then we have 453. Why isn't it focusing? Okay, so hopefully that wasn't doing that the whole time. Um, anyway, here's the 3866 and the 453. Um, we have several bags of the 939 here. So uh, I will leave that out just in case that's the darkest color there is in here. It looks like, is that 310? No, that's 823. Okay, so this is the darkest color. So we'll go ahead and take a look at these drills, see what we see. Okay, the drills look pretty good. Yeah, I don't see any complications with them. They look pretty good. I don't see too much too much trash. I don't see any actually right now. I mean, I see little little baby bits right here. You see that little dot right there? That's considered trash, but that's not going to affect anything, so that looks pretty good. So that's 939. Here is 823. So we've got lots of that. That's another deep uh, navy color. Then we have 
lots of 37.50. Sure, do wish this lighting was better. There we go, 37.50. Then we've got some 30.52. You know, every time. Okay, 30.52. Then we've got some. 521. I don't think I've seen that color. That's beautiful. Then we have this is 934. Then this is 3835. Here is 824. Okay, so this is 824. We have uh, 469. This is 3836. 38, 30, 38, 20, 38, 80. I think that might be 38, 80. I'm having a hard time telling that this, the ink is rubbed off. Here's 415. This is 550. Yep, that's 550. This is going to be uh, 30, 21. Next up, I don't know why the lighting is just not working with me right now. Well, but I guess that's true to the color. Here is 413. Next up, we have 842. Here is 3822. There we go. That's better. And this is 3768. Next, ooh, this color is pretty. This is 470. Here we've got 3303. That's this color here. Next up is 931. So we're going to go to 3371 is this color here. Almost done. And that's a good thing because my food just got here. 436. And then all we've got left is the little baby mask. So we've got two bags of 38 I can't tell what that is is that 3830 again it looks like it and then we've got 734 which is this color here 966 3328 is this color uh, 728 that color right there and then this bag needs to be um, rebagged but this is 798 so that's 798 so these are all the colors that come in I think this is called shadow cat um, I'm really excited to work on it thank you so much Jess I cannot wait to get into this one I think I'm gonna do this one like I said for drills and chills but for now, I'm gonna clean this up. I'm gonna eat my dinner and then I will come back and show you the rest of the things that I need to show you. So I will see you then. Okay, just a brief little recap on the colors just in case. Because the lighting was not super extra good. I'm gonna go ahead and that lighting better yes much better okay so here are the colors that come in it um, I'm gonna grab the most notable colors and do a close-up for you yep that looks like that's it the rest is all creams and grays so and blues Oh, here's one more in this. So yeah, the rest is all creams and grays and blues. So just a real quick recap on these painting colors here. Lots of confetti for that center area. So I'm gonna really quickly clean this up all again. <laughs> I just didn't know if the lighting was gonna be good enough and I wanted to make sure that I captured it. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean this up again and we will go and flip it over. Okay, so this is the top. Is that the top? Or yeah, okay, that's the top. And then here is the bottom. So it sits like that. 
Okay, so a couple things I want to look at. Of course, I want to check to see the um, symbol clarity and check the sticky. Uh, but I really would like to check the uh, dimensions because it's my first time ever getting anything from this company, so I want to see if they are true to size. So let's start here. So it is 45, no, 55, 54 and a half. A little over 54 and a half on that way and then going this way hopefully I'm not in frame because I'm looking busted it is 70 on the dot so 55 by 70 so it's half a centimeter shy of 55 so pretty much right on um, I'm willing to give an entire centimeter because it's like that's the recommended anyway so plus a centimeter is like what two diamonds let me see. I don't know. Someone help me. Yeah, a centimeter is basically a l three drills, so it's not really that much at all. So um, for round anyway. So uh, this is a round kit. So let's take a look at the symbol clarity. Go up here. Oh, looks pretty good. Um, I'm going to take a look and see if there's anything I could potentially confuse because if anyone's going to confuse it, it's going to be me. So we got some B's, some O's, and M's. Looks good in the cat, the darker cat. The outside looks really good. Yeah, this looks, it looks pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and take a look at the, um, What's it called? The legend. I do like how they have the legend one at the top over here and one down here at the bottom. Um, I definitely wish that it said uh, the artist's name on it somewhere, but that's okay. Uh, let's see. T hashtag T F plus sign E X equal uh, O arrow T percent M weird why yeah for the most part they all look like pretty normal symbols so oh uh oh r and b are there ever going to be an r and a b next to each other i know i complained about the, oh man okay so that is super not my favorite you can see we've got r's and b's right next to each other so that is not my favorite um i complained about that in one of the other kits that I did, uh, I think it was uh, the paint gem kit, and it was very confetti, and R and B were both very dark colors, so that was a little confusing, but we'll go ahead and take a look at the, okay, that's sticky. We'll go ahead and look at the sticky is what I meant to say. I, you know what, I'm pretty sure this was poured glue. The glue does extend pretty far. But that's not too, too bad. I can always cover that with washi tape. Um, of course, I will risk covering my symbols, so I'll have to make sure I take really good notes when I kit this up. Um, I found it weird because they're sticky all across the border up here. Um, and the reason that is is because of, I'm assuming, the packaging that I came in with my name on it. Yeah, sticky all across the border. It's already managed to pick up cat hair. Not a big deal, though. Like I said, we can cover that with washi tape. Honestly, we could probably cut this off anyway because it's, it's done that thing that I don't particularly like where it's sloppily cut. Um, but I am pretty impressed so far. Um, I don't know. I don't want to look up the price of how much something cost when it was a gift. Um, but I know that it wasn't cheap, so I definitely wish they would have cut it a little better. But, I mean, honestly, I am so excited to get into this one. I really have nothing negative to say. I mean, I'm just so excited to be able to do this. I'm so excited to be able to try this company. I'm so excited that Jess got it for me, that she saw it and thought of me. I'm just really, I'm in my feels right now, y'all. But uh, anyways, I'm really excited for 
uh, September and October now because I'm gonna be doing this for Jules and Chills. All right, guys, I want to recap real quick and give Jess all the acknowledgement that she deserves. So, Jess got me this painting, this pen from uh, Redneck Beauty, these two pens from Lisa, 802. I'll, I'll link the information in the description box. So that's three pens. This uh, tray, I was able to figure out what it was. It's a tray saver cover minder. So it keeps your tray from falling when you're using it on a tilted surface. So I love this for work because I can just smack it on my desk and it will keep my painting up. And then uh, this diamond painting pen stand. And this came from 3D Wilson Designs. Oh, this came from Happy Hippo Finds. So uh, all over here, we got stuff from everywhere. I'm just fitting in a pen tip really quickly into um, the second Lisa pen so that I can show you how the pen stand works for a recap. Oh, I'm having a struggle. Hold, please. Um, how do I... Yeah, I think I got it in. Either that or I poked a hole in the box. Anyways, let's see. Here we go. So I'll put this one here and this one here. Oops, and this one here. So this is what Jess got me for Christmas and my birthday and for no reason because she's crazy. But I love her. I forgot the pens from we the pen tips <laughs> from Weedbrook and my closing clip. I literally use nothing else now. These are currently my favorite tips um, as opposed to, you know, what regularly comes in them. But I am completely obsessed with these and I think I'll probably be picking up more as well and I kind of would recommend them. Um, I haven't used any other types of tips, just the ones that came with, um, you know, the standard plastic with the metal tip, so, but I definitely recommend these, and I really appreciate them. I really appreciate all these presents, but most importantly, I appreciate Jess and the friendship that she has given me. Um, I just, I really love her, guys. <laughs> Alright, guys, for real, for real, that is it now. Um, I will leave Jess obviously linked in the description box as well as any relevant information including Etsy, st Etsy stores, um, Facebook groups, uh, website, and the company's uh, website. So uh, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please give me a thumbs up. And if you liked it, <laughs> really, if you really liked it, what you need to do is go follow Jess because she is the one with a great taste here. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I hope that you enjoyed this video. And if you did, feel free to subscribe to both me and Jess. That would be awesome. And anyways, I uh, hope that you guys are being safe, washing your hands, and taking care of yourselves. Bye, guys.